What's up guys, Adam Middlesworth here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna go over how you can run Facebook ads even if you have a small budget. So if you guys know, I run Facebook advertising for mortgage and real estate professionals. Uh, but in this video, we're gonna cover not only mortgage and real estate, how you can uh, run Facebook ads with a small budget, but also if you are, you know, if you have a gym, if you have a chiropractic office, if you've got, um, you know, if you're a nail salon, restaurants, uh, nationwide, even if you have like an agency, uh, we're going to go over all of that and kind of tips and strategies, Facebook hacks, if you will, how to run ads, even if you have a small budget and then scale up from there. So we'll start with Facebook ads for mortgage loan officers and real estate professionals, how you can start on a small budget. For you guys, uh, the easiest way that you can start on a small budget and get the best bang for your buck would be listings or homes lists, right? So a uh, small budget being five, 10, $15 per day. The easiest way for a real estate agent to get as many leads as possible. And essentially what you want to do is get as many at bats as you can, right? As many conversations, phone calls, texts, emails, as many of those as you possibly can. And the easiest way to generate the most amount of leads possible for a real estate agent is listings. Now with that said, listings can generate you a lot of fake leads, a lot of low quality leads. Um, so if that's something that you are interested in, high quality, high converting leads, uh, I wouldn't necessarily recommend listings right off the bat unless you have a comprehensive retargeting strategy uh, like I show in previous videos and uh, like I show a lot of real estate agents to do, right? If you if you have a listing and you want high quality leads, you have to hit them time and time again with, with more ads because on that initial listing ad, you're going to get a ton of leads, but they might just be interested in, uh, you know, people who who have a home and they see a home in their neighborhood, they might just be interested in what that that home is listed at, the price, the location, all the photos, they just, they're just curious, right? So uh, if you want the best bang for your buck, I wouldn't necessarily go the listing route unless you have a, a comprehensive retargeting strategy, then that can definitely work long term. But if you are working on a small budget, then $5 a day will get you, you know, we could get you five leads, five to six leads a day on a $5 per day budget, depending on the area, right? I mean, if you're in San Diego or Austin, Texas or Miami, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, but for most of the country in the United States and even in Canada, we can get you, you know, at least four to six leads uh, for $5 per day. And, and I have campaigns uh, that I've shown on YouTube uh, based around that listing that listing leads Facebook ad. Uh, for mortgage loan officers, same thing. I would say $10 per day would be a good starting small budget for you. Um, and then you're going to want to go after the largest audience possible. If you have a small budget, that would probably be first time home buyers working on down payment assistance, 3% um, conventional, 3.5% FHA. That's just going to be the best bang for your buck at that small budget. Um, it's not necessarily, again, going to be high quality, high converting, but what you need, again, is at bats and as many people um, as you can to have a conversation with, right? So that's mortgage and real estate. If you have a gym or if you're a chiropractor office or if you have any other um, form of business, local business, that is not real estate and mortgage, what you need to think about doing is uh, you need to basically acquire clients sales at cost. That should be your initial goal because if you can acquire a client, so let's say uh, your initial offer, your initial program, your initial transformation program if you're in the gym space is, let's just easy math, $200, right? So your goal should be to acquire clients acquire one client at $200 Facebook ad spend. So your goal, client acquisition, $200 per uh, client with Facebook ad spend, right? If you can do that and keep those clients long-term, if you have a lifetime value, say 
you know that if you get a new lead and they go through this program, they whatever it is, even if this is like nail salon stuff, guys, we have a lifetime value of your customer. And if your lifetime value of a customer is nine months, and that means that that is $900 to you, then initially, if you can get as many people as possible into your business at cost, like literally $200 for $200, your break even, long term, that client is worth $900. So you just made $700 to acquire that one client if your lifetime value is $900, right? And then you do that over and over and over again, right? How many times would you convert $200 into $900? It's just, it's silly math, right? So if you're a local business, your goal should be to acquire clients, customers at cost initially. If you can do, if you can spend $100 on Facebook ads and make $150, you know, then you've got a $50 profit margin. That's amazing. But if you can't, you can acquire clients at a cost and your uh, competitors are not doing that. They're not doing that at all. What they want is a profit. They want a 2x on their Facebook ad spend. Even if you go and hire an ad agency and you spend $1,000 per month plus Facebook ads and you can acquire all of those clients at cost in that initial month, then it's your job to keep those clients, get amazing results, whatever your business, and long term, make that into a profit for you, right? And, and make long term clients out of those initial uh, out of those initial Facebook ads and, and initial customers from Facebook ads, right? So that is local business, how you can create uh, a business from Facebook ads on a small budget, right? So if your budget is $10 a day, your goal is, in, and you have a, a $300 product, your goal is to get one client that month. And then the next month you can you can up that because they're probably going to sign on again for the next month, right? So that is local businesses. If you are doing a nationwide campaign and you say you have a, a digital marketing agency or you have a consulting business, whatever it is, you have an online training space, you have online coaching, whatever it is, what your goal should be is, again, acquiring, acquiring those clients um, not necessarily at cost because what that would mean, um, it could be. It depends what your, your model is. If you've got a monthly retainer model, then you can acquire those clients at a cost, right? So if you are if you are in the agency space and you charge $500 for your services per month, then your goal is to initially acquire that one client for $500 because then if you can keep them on for six months after that, you've just made $2,500 off of that initial month, right? Makes a lot of sense. If you have a coaching program that could look a little bit different for you, uh, but it also a cool thing that you can do is create uh, kind of a tripwire, right? So um, not necessarily your full package, high ticket item. Uh, you know, somebody might want to, to invest a little bit smaller amount because they don't know you yet. They don't like you. They don't trust you. You're just some dude on the internet that they saw their ad and they're interested, right? So they don't want to they don't want to pay $500. What you could do is create a part of your program and say you had let's say you're an online uh, personal trainer and your program is $500 per month. What you could do is just create a simple workout program that would take them through 28 days. Um, and you could give them that it's super basic, just workouts, no coaching, no macros, anything like that, right? Just very, very bare bones and sell that for $28, $27, $30, whatever it is, seven bucks even. And then what you can do is you can monetize your ad spend. So say you want to go out and spend $2,000. If you go out and get, you know, 10 people who are interested in, purchasing uh, whatever, right, then you can acquire those clients at cost and that will pay for essentially your um, ad spend so that you can get long-term value from those people. So even if it's, you know, you want to spend $1,000 a month, your product that you created, the tr small tripwire is $30. Even if you get 20 people in there, you know, that's still a good amount of money from your ad spend. You're essentially paying for half of your ad spend 
then that shrinks your margins a little bit so that you can um, you can long term make money off of your list, right? You're basically building an email list uh, at 50% of the cost because you're you're selling that tripwire. So those are the three ways. Uh, if you have mortgage real estate business, how you can start on a small budget. If you have a local business that's not in the housing real estate space, and then if you have a nationwide uh, consulting agency or uh, coaching program, how you can start Facebook ads on a small budget. If you guys have any questions about that, uh, just leave them in the comments below. I'm here to help. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more of this content in the future, make sure that you click on the subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.